Those were the headlines we've been tracking you from the startup world. Now, as China's BYD broke the internet with the unveiling of their 1MW charging technology for cars, India's Exponent Energy also took to X to showcase their technology prowess. In a tweet, the venture showcased its 1 megawatt rapid charging technology for buses and also announced plans to launch the world's first 1.5 megawatt rapid charging technology for EVs later this year. To elaborate on all of these plans, joining me now is Arun Vinayak, co-founder and CEO of Exponent Energy. Arun, congratulations. You're proving that India can build and own all layers of EV tech. Take us through the significance of building India's first megawatt rapid charging technology. And you're actually doing this on standard off-the-shelf cells, raising the bar globally. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for having me here today. Um, yeah, we, uh, we think uh, in India, uh, we've really solved the vehicle problem um, to a huge extent and with EVs. Uh, and, you know, we've been doing a great job in renewables. So we're solving for the grid. But everything in between seems to be unsolved. And that's something that we're focusing on. You know, energy uh, in EVs is a two-sided problem. It's both batteries and charging. You've got to get both right to ensure that you're able to charge fast. You, you have batteries that last long. And, you know, we think solving for energy is really what's holding back mass adoption for EVs. You know, no one's questioning... Uh, how good the vehicle is anymore. Really, questions are about charge time, battery life, where do I charge, where is the network? So that's our focus at Exponent. And uh, I think one megawatt charging allows us to deploy uh, buses along and trucks along the highways. And, uh, you know, commercial vehicles consume 70% of energy in India. So if you really want to move the needle sustainably, and if you really want to go away from oil imports, we have to electrify commercial vehicles. All right. You know, Arun, like I mentioned earlier, you've also announced that Exponent Energy will be launching the world's first 1.5 megawatt rapid charging technology later this year. What markets will you address first and how do you see this leap in technology changing the future of EV charging in India? Yeah, so both the 1 megawatt and the 1.5 megawatt is really focused on long haul intercity uh, markets like buses and trucks, uh, 20, 20 tonner, 40 tonner trucks and uh, long-haul buses like the one you've seen in the video. Uh, as the battery sizes change between different categories, uh, the power levels on the charger also needs to go up and down to ensure that the vehicle can still be charged in 15 minutes. So hence, we're launching the 1.5 megawatt for even longer distance uh, buses, which need a larger battery. All right. In August last year, our own exponent uh, partnered with Veer Vahan to introduce the rapid charging intercity bus, the Veer Mahasamrat EV. What is the kind of impact this collaboration has made so far? Yeah, so the, the, you know, last August was just the unveil. Uh, we didn't really have many people test the vehicle back then. In the last yeah. couple of months, it has been fun, fun to have the vehicle on the road, get people to actually come see the vehicle charging. Uh, that's always fun to see how people uh, start with disbelief and that this whole tech was built in India and now they're sort of quite excited to see that hey, this whole thing's available right here. Uh, and yeah, we're looking to launch this commercially with customers uh, in the second half of this year. Okay. Within just two years, Arun, you've expanded to five new cities. Exponent Energy is already running 1,700 plus EVs and has completed over 3.5 lakh rapid charging uh, sessions. What do you think has contributed to the rapid adoption and what more do you plan to do to scale up this impact? Oh, I, I think we're just getting started. I think 700 vehicles are very small compared to how many vehicles are on the road. Uh, mm. So there's a lot to do both with new vehicle sales, installed vehicle sales, uh, installed vehicles, and how do you sort of really quickly move this entire commercial vehicle base to electric? Uh, and I think we've done less than 0.1%. Uh, so today, we've, I think what we've done is just a proof of concept. Uh, we've got vehicles on the road for the last two years, proving the tech out, proving the uh, life of this technology out and the reliability of this technology. Uh, now we've got a lot more OEM partnerships. So this year is probably going to be a big year for us with respect to more city expansions, launching a few few new categories. Uh, okay. And of course, OEM partnerships that will, of course, scale this. What are these new categories that you're planning to launch? Yeah, of course, like I said, until now, we really did mostly three-wheeler cargo, mm, these mm. that ran e-commerce, etc. cetera. Uh, three-wheeler passengers, a large focus, a uh, large category. It's a 5X larger market. So that's something okay. that's really good. And of course, like the bus that I was just, just, just talking about. So these are uh, okay. new categories. Arun, you know, you've spoken about the need for India to catch up with global leaders in cell material science for EVs. How do you plan to address this challenge? And are there any developments that you're excited about on this front? 
Oh yeah, I, I think material science is still something we're so far behind in India, right? Uh, mm-hmm. uh, across across the range of materials and um, cell chemist cells fundamentally material science problem. We don't even make regular cells in India today. So, you know, forget about making advanced cell chemistry. So I think there's a long lot to do to catch up there. Um, today, Exponent, what's unique about us is we use a regular cell and charge it up in 15 minutes. In some sense, because we're forced to do that, right? Uh, and it's cool we figured it out. Uh, but at the same time, there was no access to better cell chemistry or better cell partners locally. Um, and uh, definitely China is leading the race here. And there's, there's a lot for us to do. To catch up here, this is cell is not a technology problem. A startup like Exponent probably not be able to solve it. It's a large cap capex. It's a manufacturing problem. So you know mm. the government, a whole bunch of large companies are already focusing on this. I think it's a matter of time to get there. Yeah. All right, Arun. One final question before I let you go. With Tesla's anticipated entry into the Indian market, how do you think it will impact the local EV ecosystem? And what opportunities or challenges do you foresee for Exponent Energy in this evolving landscape? Well, yeah, I, I think it's definitely going to set the bar higher for everyone to mm. compete harder. You know, subsidies have already gone away. So, you know, it's already treasure for OEMs and technology partners to think harder, create more value. Uh, and I think with companies like Tesla coming in, a huge fan, of course, of Tesla and the products they've built. Um, but I think India's electrification journey lies in two-wheelers and commercial vehicles. It's it's not in passenger cars. It's not in premium luxury sedans, etc. Right. Uh, so, which is why we are very conscious that what commercial vehicles need in India is fundamentally different. The energy ecosystem and the energy solutions that commercial vehicles need very different from what from what a passenger car needs. Like you, you know, you and I buy a car. We're going to park it at home. We're going to charge it at home. We can afford a large battery. Things are much simpler, uh, much easier to electrify the passenger vehicle market. But like I said, if India needs to be self reliant on energy. If we need to really solve for sustainability and solve for the environment, it's all about commercial vehicles. Seventy percent of the oil is used there, so that's 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 what we're focused on. All right, Arun. On that note, I'll have to wrap up our conversation. But keep raising the bar, and thank you so much for joining us on Startup Street today. Thank you so much. Absolute pleasure, dear. And on what's brewing today, Rungs.